What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just going to be talking a little bit more about Matt Letcher finally returning to the Arrowverse to play Eobard Thawne and what exactly that means for the Reverse Flash going forward. Now it wasn't until after I filmed my last video that I found out the specifics of Matt Letcher's return to the Arrowverse. Um, so what I didn't break down in my last video was the, fir the first thing is that he will be in not one but two episodes of Legends of Tomorrow, that being episode 10 and 11. Um, and in the synopsis for episode 10, it basically, I'm not going to read all of it. Um, but yeah, part of it basically says that the Legends find themselves in a bar for time travelers and quickly learn that that, it, that basically it's a fixed point. So yeah, there's a lot of time travelers in this bar, which is where Sarah and Eobard are talking. So yeah, Thawne in this synopsis is basically just referred to as a time traveler, and that's of course where Sarah is going to end up meeting him. Uh, but then in this next episode, episode 11, uh, is where we get a little more information. So it says, with the help of Eobard Thawne, the legends break a fixed point, creating an aberration that will attract the evil wave rider. Yeah, I know Legends has a bunch of stuff that I have not kept up with at all. Uh, I'm going to start watching season 7 to, you know, get a little bit more information about, you know, what could be going on with Matt Letcher's reverse flash. Uh, but yeah, we know that e e e Eobard is going to end up helping the Legends with something. But with that being said, I really don't think it's just going to be, you know, like a snap of a finger. Eobard's helping the Legends. That doesn't really make any sense. I think it's got to be some, like, some deal they've discussed uh, for why Eobard's going to be helping the Legends. Now, they did mention in the synopsis that Eobard and Sarah here are talking in a fixed point. You know, sort of like uh, if you guys have actually seen Legends of Tomorrow, uh, it's sort of like the, the Old West, if you guys have seen that. It's basically like the timeline doesn't really detect that area. Um, so maybe that's why Eobard's, like, you know, hiding out here. Because if the timeline were to detect him, then maybe he would, like, be erased from existence, just like we've seen him be erased from existence, like, four times. So I think that's definitely possible right there as to why Eobard is in this bar. So if Eobard is on the verge of being erased from existence, maybe the deal that Sarah and Eobard break is, you know, uh, if uh, if Eobard helps them, then Sarah and the rest of the legends will help him not be erased from existence. Maybe Eobard knows how to do it, uh, but he just can't, like, do it because he needs, like, more help in order to not be erased from existence. So he, like, asks Sarah and the legends. I think that would be really interesting. And I guess it's also possible that this version of Reverse Flash could be like uh, like a younger version, you know, the one that we've been talking about, the one that, you know, still doesn't know who Barry is and still has not yet killed Barry's mother. Uh, I think that's definitely possible as to who this version of Thawn could be. Um, but also, it seems like by these set photos that he does know who Sarah is, so this could be like... Uh, uh, post season two Thawne or season two of Legends I should say Thawne um, but I have no idea how he could still be alive because obviously he was erased from existence well that version of Thawne was erased from existence at least but now that I'm thinking about it, the version of Thawne from Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, I believe, was the version that was pulled from the timeline when Bar Barry created Flashpoint. You guys remember uh, when Barry uh, captured Thawne and held him captive for, like, months? That's uh, that's the version of Thawne that we see on Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, because obviously after he re-killed or killed Barry's mother again for the second time, um, he brought Barry back to Joe's uh, house and then, j you know, just sped off. And that's when he went to Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, went, you know, tried to get the Spear of Destiny, all that that stuff. But then you have the version of Eobard Thawne from uh, The Flash Season 2, Episode 11, and that version had no idea that Barry was The Flash. He didn't know anything. He, di he didn't even know that he ended up killing Barry's mother, um, all that stuff. So I think that it's possible that that could be the version of Thawne that we see here, um, because I have no idea, I, I, as I said before, I have no idea how the Legends version of Thawne could still exist. I mean, I guess there's, like, a possibility that this version of Fawn is, like, you know, still from Season 2 of Legends. Like, he, you know, maybe he hasn't gotten the Spear of Destiny yet, and they're, like, still in the middle of that or something like that. That could be this version of Fawn, I guess. I think that's pretty unlikely. Uh, but, yeah, there's so much Reverse Flash mystery in regards to this. So yeah, with the, the Wells version of Thawne still existing without his speed, it's going to be really interesting to see how they explain how this Eobard Thawne is still alive and this Wells version is also alive without his speed. So yeah, I think that's going to be the thing that I'm most interested in here. How exactly are these two versions of Thawne related? Like, are they from different times? Or is this a time remnant situa situation going on here? Uh, I'm going to be very interested to see what exactly or, you know, how exactly they're going to explain this. But yeah, I'd say that's about it, guys. This video was a little bit all over the place. But yeah, make sure you guys comment your theories on all this Eobard Thawne stuff down below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.